name is Braylon Brooks, and I'm your host with Singster.tv, and I'm here with Lauren Stone, the executive director of Brit Week. She's going to let us know a little bit about the history of Brit Week in Los Angeles, Miami, San Francisco, and all that, and um, let us know what's going on. Great. So Brit Week was founded in 2007 by the then British Consul General Bob Pierce and Nigel Lithgow, and we've been going for eight years strong, celebrating the huge creative influence in the cities in which we have Brit Weeks. So that could be fashion events like we've seen at Joseph Today or red carpet, business, architecture, art, music. Really it's about celebrating British influences in all fields. I love it. So um, I have to say as an executive director for Brit Week, your job has to be completely tiring. Like what is it, what is like a regular work day for you? Well, I mean Brit Week really builds up. So during the summer we're wrapping up a lot of our Brit Week programming and then the kind of roller coaster starts towards next year pretty much right away. Um, but it's great. It, you know, as busy and hectic as it is getting up at 6 a.m. and finishing at 1, there's 1 a.m.? Yeah, I know. There's it's like a 24 hour day almost. No, there is so much excitement, and that's what Brit Week's about. I mean, we were at a, a wonderful Shakespeare charity event we had last night with Jane Seymour and Malcolm McDowell, um, Ewan Griffith, Sophie Winkleman. We had our launch event at the Consul General's residence on Tuesday. We had a Business Innovation Awards with Paul Oakenfold on Wednesday. So, as hectic and crazy as it is, it's worth so it. exciting. It's so exciting. So exciting and worth it. So, are you on any social media, or can uh, the viewers actually go to uh, fi uh, find out more information about Brit week in their events and how to participate or anything like that? That's a very good question. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, Brit Week is actually a 501c3. We're a nonprofit organization, so we're BritWeek.org. Um, and you can also find us on Facebook, Brit Week, or at Brit Week on Twitter. And we'd love to hear from all of your viewers as well. If they want to be involved, we want to see you at Brit Week events, and we'd love to have you more involved with Brit Week 2015. Brit Week 2015 sounds so much, so sounds like a lot going on. <laughs> already, already a lot going on, and it's just a, incredible. The event today at Joseph was just a, a fantastic showcase. It of was done in fashion. I have to ask, what was your favorite part about the fashion show here at Joseph today? Um, I love leather combined with things, um, so I loved all these leather pants and different materials, whether it was the silver or the black, and I think you can't go wrong with a nice leather pant. That is so true. Classic, right? And I have to say, like, Los Angeles is like, of course, since it was founded here, you have the whole block of Robertson you know, contributing and have, you have Brit flags everywhere. That has to be amazing. You know? you know, it's funny. So I worked for the British consulate for about six years before I joined Brit Week. And I came out to LA before I joined Brit Week and I said, we're going to do a Brit Week event on Robertson. I'm going to make this happen. And two, three years later, here we are. And we have all the stores participating, British and non-British. You can go get your- I know, I seen the calendar. It was crazy. No, you can go get your David Bowie or Kate Middleton look over at Makeup Forever. You can go to Mac. You can go to Michael Kors. I mean, there's so many great stores participating that are really celebrating Brits in general and British culture. I love it. Where you heard it from the one only Lauren Stone. That just happened here at Brit Week in Los Angeles here at Joseph's on Robertson. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.